Hi guys, my name is Rina Tamna. I'm in sixth grade and I'm in Woodrow Wilson Middle School. So today's topic is how dinosaurs became extinct. So we're going to be talking about the whole topic of this. So number one. Sixty eight million sixty eight and before a million years ago, Earth was heaven for dinosaurs. Yeah, so Earth was heaven for dinosaurs. That means dinosaur dinosaurs roamed Earth. No humans, no nothing. Thus dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are the boss. But but then sixty five I'm starting the dates here. Sixty five million years ago. This big asteroid and this have this really heavy and really big asteroid made its way toward Earth. Remember, guys, any asteroid larger than one kilometer uh, can destroy uh, can destroy whole countries, and they can also harm the entire um, civilization. So yeah, I'm just letting you guys know. And then when that impact happened, everyone within Eight hundred kilometers died. So dinosaurs within eight hundred kilometers the asteroid impact died died right away, and and Earth's temperature start, started increasing. So Earth's So Earth's temperature started increasing. That means that now the temp pretend that now in New Jersey the temperature is ninety four degrees. Pretend an asteroid hit Earth, which will never happen. Then the temperature would go to one hundred fifty degrees. That means increasing. That then the temperature would be get more hotter and hotter due to the asteroid um friction. So, and then after the after it got temp. After the temperature increased, a big dust cloud, dust cloud covered the entire Earth, blocking sunlight. So dust cloud blocked sunlight. Wait, wait. So it blocked sun a lot all the sunlight. And guys, remember, you're not a food chain, right? Without, this is why the dinosaurs died. So this is the food chain. So without plants, the without the sun, the plants would die, and without the plants, the herb, the herbivores would die. Pretty, this is a herbivore. Without the herbivores, the carnivores would die. And and yeah, so of the sun is very important for the whole food chain. So. And without without the sunlight, the plants would die. Without the plants, the herbivores would die. Without the herbivores, the carnivores would die. And then there would be nothing left in the wild. So after that, this is what the dinosaurs did to make them alive, to keep them um, living. The dinosaurs started eating each other. The dinosaurs. The dinosaurs started eating. Sorry guys, I'm really so slow. So the dinosaurs started eating each other. That means like a triceratops versus a, a, a triceratops. A T-Rex ate a T-Rex. Like not like, a triceratops is a herbivore. And it's not like the T-Rex ate a herbivore. The herbivores died, remember? So that's when the carnivores started eating each other and the herbivores started eating each other because there was no plants remaining in the wild and there was no sunlight. But then, Smaller animals took shelter underground from all that stream heat, so they took shelter underground so they wouldn't face all these consequences, and they lived. But the bigger ones had nowhere to hide, so soon after they all died because every, there was no more food remaining. So soon after they, they all died. Yeah. So so in this is the last summary before we end this video. In summary, um. We talked about how the dinosaurs became extinct and what caused them to become extinct and the dangers of an asteroid. And we talked about the dust cloud, the food chain, and we also talked about all of those. 
So that's our summary for today. So I, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button and we'll see you all next time, bud. Bye!